All right, so we have this question here to solve the system with the addition method. Um, even though it says addition, I probably will use addition, but you don't have to use the recommended method they give you. You could use substitution if you're more comfortable with that. I'll just stick with the addition method to show you how it's done. But before I do anything, I want to get rid of these parentheses. Okay, I don't like working with them, so I'm going to start by distributing through both equations to get rid of them. So I'll rewrite that first one down below. 4 times 2x is 8x plus 4 times y equals negative 3. And the second one, I'll distribute that. That's going to be negative 4x minus 24 equals 3y. Okay. So if you want to use the addition method, you got to start by getting all the x's and y's on the same side. So what I'm going to do with the second equation is I'm going to subtract 3y and add 24 to both sides. So when I do that, the second equation becomes negative 4x minus 3y equals 24. My x and y are on the same side. I'm just going to rewrite the top one. Okay, so I have this uh, equation here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the second equation by 2 because I want to get the same coefficient with opposite signs in front of either one of the variables. In this case, I'm just going to pick x. So if I multiply the bottom equation by 2, I'm going to distribute that. So let me rewrite the top equation again, 8x plus 4y equals negative 3. Bottom equation becomes negative 8x minus 6y equals 48. Now, since I have those matching opposite coefficients, I can add the equations together. 8x and negative 8x, they're going to cross out, which is what we wanted. 4y and negative 6y is negative 2y equals 48 plus negative 3 is 40. Okay, solving for y, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. So you might be compelled to write this as a decimal, but notice here it says enter your answers as integers or as reduced fractions. So they don't want us to write this as uh, 22.5. So what we're going to do is just leave it as negative 45 over 2. Okay, that's our y value. Now I want my x value. So I can take that value for y and substitute it back into either equation. I'll substitute it into the second one. Just, I mean, it doesn't matter which one you do. I'm going to use the second one. So I have negative 4x minus 24 equals 3y, 3 times negative 45 over 2. Okay, so this is negative 4x minus 24 equals negative 135 over 2. Just did 3 times negative 45. All right, now it's a matter of just adding 24 to both sides. Let's do that. Let me pick blue. So we add 24. Now don't be intimidated by the fractions. Your calculator will do most of this stuff for you. So what I'm going to do is just do negative 135 divided by 2 plus 24. And then I'm going to hit math. And I'm going to hit fraction. Enter one more time. I get negative 87. Oops, negative 87 over 2. And then lastly, divide both sides by negative 4. We get x equals, we will do negative 87 divided by 2 divided by negative 4. You get this, we want a fraction, we hit math, enter, enter. We get 87 over 8. So we're going to enter our, our answers just like that. Okay.